Hi there, my name is Malcolm Wilkinson, and welcome to Millennial Meals, a place where we show you how to make some delicious meals and treats right in your own home. So on today's episode, I'm going to keep it real simple. We're going to be cooking some spiral cut ham in the oven. Let's get baking. So for equipment, you're going to want to have a granite spaceware oval oven roaster pot with a lid. Make sure the lid fits tightly, a cutting board, a knife, an oven, a dipper, cooking spray, two one gallon baggies, and two big steak forks to pick up our ham. So one of the first things we want to do is we want to open up our ham. We want to get it out of this plastic netting and basically this little plastic casing. That said, I'm going to start getting my ham open. All right, so make sure you have a nice big pot that can seal pretty well. I've seen some people use like aluminum foil to kind of like cover their ham. Um, one thing I should mention is, is when you cut your ham, sometimes there's like a plastic bit that's like put over the bone but on this ham i don't see a plastic bit that was put over the bone so i think we're pretty much good to go so now that i got my ham in my pan i'm gonna add a little bit of water to the pan or i should say my pot um, what basically we're going here for we're just going to have a thin layer of water we don't want to have it like basically it's like covered to the top just a very thin layer of water in a pot or whatever pan you're using. But in this case, I'm using this little, this little pot. And what I should say is we want to make sure that when you're cooking the ham, it's a really tight fit, like you, especially if you have like a lid like this. Like some people use like basically like aluminum foil, and things like that. And basically I just added some water into my, my pot basically. So when it comes to when you're cooking the ham, you want to set your oven to 250 degrees. And for every pound, basically what your ham is, you want to cook it at 12 to 15 minutes. And what I got right here is about a 10 pound ham. So I'm gonna cook it in the oven for about two and a half hours. With that said, I'm gonna start baking this ham. So what I should mention is that this ham was already cooked. So technically I could have already taken off the slices and eaten some, but I feel like when you cook it, you kind of give the ham a little bit of a better flavor. And look at all that nice steam just rolling right off our ham. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to take the ham off and put it on my plate. There we go. Whew. And we got our ham off our pot. We got this giant ham on the plate. Now that my ham is done, I basically flipped it over on its side just so you guys can get a good view on how juicy this delicious ham is. Uh, what I should say, so we got a lot of extra juice in our pot or our pan. What I like to do is I like to pour it on top of my ham just add a little bit more of that nice juicy flavor to it. You can also use this for like ham and beans and some other dishes, but right now I'm just pouring it on my ham. But with that said, this is how you make ham in the oven and just in time for Easter. Y'all stay safe and have a good one. Here's a bonus video for y'all. I'm taking off the already pre-sliced ham bits off the bone and putting it to the side. Now I'm using this ham to the side to basically use for like ham sandwiches or to throw on crackers. But the goal here for me is to try to get as much meat off the bone as possible. Because, as you'll see in a bit, I'm going to take the bone and put it inside my pot. Well now I have these fairly big chunks of ham. Well, I'm just simply going to cut those into smaller pieces. So that will go inside the pot or its own little baggie. Once everything's cut up, I put the already pre-sliced ham bits inside one gallon baggie for meals in the immediate future. And another gallon baggie, what I do is I put those bigger pieces of ham inside, I throw the bone in, then finally I just pour all that nice juicy ham liquid inside, and then I throw them in the fridge for another day. With that said, y'all stay safe and have a good one.